Okay, so this car has 162,000 kilometers, right around 100,000 miles, and it has a very bad electrical problem with one of the throttle bodies. But on these cars, there are two of them. So I figured it was this one on that side, and it pops off all the possible codes. Okay, there is not a lot of these cars, there's not a lot of these engines, there's not a lot of people to try to fix these engines, and there's not a lot of videos about it, because whoever has a problem with a V10 just goes to the dealership and has it fixed. But uh, yeah, there is two guys with RS6 that have the same power plant that had problem with the throttle bodies, the same problem I had, and also a guy with a R8 had the same issue. It turned out it was the wiring loom going to the bo throttle body right here but my problem is on that side of the engine and if I have the trouble I can shut the car down play with the connector here and move the wire to put it in a, a different spot and then the car works fine so my problem is on the opposite side of all these guys these three guys they had it on that side because it, it, the uh, wiring loom goes 180 degrees I'm gonna clear that up and I'll show you what it means This is where throttle body one goes, and uh, this is the wiring of throttle body one. And as you can tell, it goes a sharp 190. That's why people usually have problem with the freight cable inside this harness here. That's not my problem. My problem seems to be with this one here. And uh, it's basically, if I have the issue and shutting it down and on again doesn't work. I can move that wire around, like pinch it against the tube that used to be here, like that. Or if it's like that, move it like so. And it would clear the code, car would run again for weeks. And uh, yeah, so it's either this wire here, or it's the throttle body, maybe the connection behind that plate are bad. I would, I would want to just take that out and redo the solder joint inside the throttle body. But I want to know what the problem is. If it's only the wire, I can tell people it's only the wire. But I want to know. Okay, we're, uh, we're a few days later because I found out I could not use the old connector. And uh, the guy, the parts guy at Hody said, uh, yeah, you, you can use the old one. But uh, that's not the case. If you have these connectors, see how they're made? If you have these, you need a newer connector not the old one they're, they're different I'll show you the difference what I'll do I'll cut my wire one by one and I'll stager the uh, my junction so that I don't end up with a, a spot along the wire this that big so <laughs> so I'll start cutting and uh, splicing wires one by one and they're all numbered you see on the collar so even though they don't give you the same color they used to be it still does the job just fine it's gotta be careful with it yeah that's the other one now we pull the little guy out see if you pull it it's gonna tear or you can use a blade and cut it off I don't need the end here 
because otherwise it's gonna push the, uh, the seal a little bit further out of the new connector so all you can do is run your blade like so and pull the little guy out put it on your new one You have it. I'll put it into the connector. Its place is number three, so it goes in number three. You gotta check the alignment because the pins, you see, they are not, they're not round, huh? So they need to go in a, in a right way, and the right way is the locking tab on top and on the bottom, like so, so that it's gonna grip onto the uh, pins inside of there. block off yeah this is not a fun place because I got new room left here but pretty sure you can handle it right like that that's a nice junction on a copper on copper Okay, when you up to your second small wire, uh, twist them together. This is something that, that is done at the factory because, well, it just the twisted pair is better to carry a signal than a, uh, than a bunch of wire laying side by side. So that's what I'll do. Just twist them together and uh, you keep doing the same thing over and over again. So here's the splice. The uh, displays are not as paced up as I said I would put them because I opted out to replace most of the old wiring as possible. So I went. I put the loom back in the sleeve and I taped over so it doesn't open up and fall off. And I almost forgot to put the little clip here so you gotta push that all the way in. So that it locks the connector and even, even if you, you were to use the tool to remove the pins it wouldn't come out well they wouldn't come out there you go it snaps in there and your connector is fine now so 